Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will do the part 2 of adding and subtracting rational algebraic expressions. So last time, we have uploaded a video about this, but yung part 1 natin ay naka-focus on how to add rational algebraic expressions with the same denominators. So ang focus natin ngayon dito ay mag-add ng RAE or rational expressions with different denominators. So again, without further ado, let's do this topic. I have your example number one, or the first example, in which we have 3 over x plus 4 plus 2 over x minus 2. So basically, um, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating denominators ay magkaiba. So hindi natin pwedeng gawin dyan, nakakopy na lang ang denominators because they are different. Ibang rule. So, again, reminder lang, when you are adding or subtracting rational expressions, it is just like you're adding or subtracting two fractions. Gagamitin natin yung rule. So, since magkaiba ang kanilang denominators, we need to find the LCD of the denominator and basically the LCD is x plus 4 times x minus 2 kapag nakita nyo meron kayong ano lang, tip lang ito yung, ginag ito yung sa tekniko or yung aking ginagawang way kapag magkaiba yung denominator as, and nakita nyo na sila ay parehas binomial so mag assume na kayo na ayun, yung, ayun na yung kanilang LCD Pero hindi nyo kailangan i-multiply like you will be using FOIL method. Hindi. Gagawin mo siyang naka-factor form. So again, the LCD is x plus 4 times x minus 2. Same rule. Para makuha mo yung magiging numerator mo, you need to divide your LCD x times 4 times x minus 2 by the denominator of the first fraction. Again, ang rule natin, or ang gagawin natin process ay divide, multiply. Okay? So when you divide x plus 4 times x minus 2 by x plus 4, as you can see, ma-eliminate ma natin to. Okay? Ma-eliminate natin yan. So mangyari ay x minus 2. Again, x plus 4 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 4 is x minus 2. But, you need to multiply it by 3. Times 3. Plus, ito naman, this part, i-divide mo naman siya by x minus 2. So, when you are dividing x plus 4 times x minus 2, over x minus 2 makakancel natin yan ang matitira na lang ay x plus 4 but remember you need to multiply it by 2 ok so recap lang tayo pulitin ko lang para mas lalo natin maintindihan our LCD is x plus 4 times x minus 2 so first step natin is to divide so, x plus 4 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 4 is x minus 2 times 3. Plus, ito naman, focus tayo dito. Yung LCD mo divided by x minus 2, that is x plus 4. Then times 2. So, all you need to do is to simplify the numerator by distributive property. So, 3 times x, that will give you... 3x and then 3 times negative 2 this minus 6 this one 2 times x is plus 2x then 2 times 4 that is plus 8 over x plus 4 times x minus 2 so dito hindi naman natin kailangan i-multiply or simplify itong denominator natin kasi 
mas maigi nang nakafactored form yan para habang tumatagal is nakikita nyo na agad yung mga pwede natin may eliminate na factor simplifying our numerator meron tayong like signs itong dalawang to at ito so 3x plus 2x is 5x and negative 6 plus 8 is plus 2 over the quantity of x plus 4 times x minus 2 and inspect nyo rin yung, yung numerator if possible bang i-factor but as you can see wala nang pwedeng factor sa numerator so we can leave it like this as your answer pero yung iba they're still simplifying the denominator by the way pwede na to ha pero yung iba still simplify pa rin yung denominator so possible answer natin is 5x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. I'm just using the FOIL method for the denominator. So, para maging clear lang tayo. So, let's move on with item number 2. We have here 3x minus 5 over x squared minus 25 minus 2 over x plus 5. So, iisipin natin na ba yung LCD ng x squared minus 25 saka x plus 5. Pero by the way, as you can see, factorable yung ating denominator dito. The factors are the factors niya x minus 5 times x plus 5 because that pattern is will fall under difference of two squares. And then, copy natin yung second fraction or rational expression. You have 2 over x plus 5. As you can see, ito na. Di ba? Pwede tayo factor muna. As you can see, mayroong common. So, ang LCD nito is x minus 5 times x plus 5 lang. Sir, bakit hindi naging x minus 5 times x plus 5 times x plus 5? Because we have 3 binomials. Hindi na po. Kasi common naman yung x plus 5 sa dalawang denominators natin. So we have the LCD and that is x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay lang mag interchange yan. So, dito, we need to divide and multiply. Dividing this to this, it will give you 1 as your answer. And then, times 3x minus 5, that is 3x minus 5. Now, for this part, be careful. Kailangan yung ilagay yung minus and then, i-enclose nyo sa parenthesis yung makukuha nyo sagot. Pag dinivide nyo to, so you have x plus 5 times x minus 5 divided by x plus 5. That will give you x minus 5. And then don't forget the number in your numerator, which is 2. Okay? So before natin i-combine like terms on numerator, you need, to, you need to simplify this part of the rational algebra expressions. Try natin ha. You have here negative 2 times x, copying ko muna 3x minus 5. So, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. So, when we multiply this, negative 2 times negative 5, that is plus 10. Over x, so 3x minus 5, Sorry, this should be the LCD. You have x plus 5 times x minus 5. Simplify muna natin yung numerator natin. You have 3x minus 2x, that is x. The negative 5 times 10, that is plus 5. Over. Ito na x plus 5 
then x minus 5. Ito yung importante yung bagay kung bakit hindi ko minumultiply or sinisimplify muna yung ating denominator. Kasi makikita mo, throughout the simplification of the first or the numerator, makikita mo yung pwede pa natin ma-eliminate sa denominator. So as you can see, your numerator is x plus 5. We can cancel it out because meron siyang kapareha sa denominator. So matitira na lang ay ito. This is the answer. You have x minus 5. So anong lalagay ngayon natin sa ibabaw? Since wala nang number sa ibabaw, you will be putting 1. So the correct answer for item number 2 is none other than 1 over x minus 5. That's it. Now, for the last example that we have for this video, ang ating given rational algebraic expression is 2x plus 1 over x plus 3 over x minus 2. So, as you can see clearly, that the denominators are different. So, kailangan natin makuha yung least common denominators nila. So, we have here x and x minus 2. So, dito, ang um, masabi ko lang, as I observe sa mga na-encounter kong problem, kapag yung isang denominator is a monomial and the other is binomial, ang ginagawa ko, in-express ko na lang siya bilang product. So, you have x times x minus 2. And that's it. That is the LCD of item number 3. Ganun lang kasimple. So, we have here your LCD as x times x minus 2 and then again, ang process natin is divide, multiply so you need to divide your LCD by x so you have x divided by x minus 2 over x cancel natin to cancel ang matitara na lang ay x minus 2 remember, meron ka pang numerator na you need, you need to multiply it times 2x plus 1 Copy your operation, plus, and then this one, ito naman, divide, multiply. So again, you need to divide and multiply. So yung ating LCD ay x times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Maka-cancel natin to because same sila ng binomial, ang matitara na lang ay x. So, plus, 3 times x. Ganyan yung kalabasan ng ating gagawin. And then, normally, ito yung meron tayong binomial, you can have the following method. You have x minus 2 times 2x plus 1. So you have to multiply it. It is 2x squared. That is plus x. Ito naman minus 4x, ito naman, you have minus 2. And then simplifying your expression, this is 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Ito ngayon yung ipapalit natin dito. Ngayon lang natin. You have 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. And then, plus 3x. Anong galing yung 3x dito siya? 3 times x. Over x times x minus 2. Wag muna natin simplify or multiply yung ating denominator. Hanggat hindi pa natin natatapos yung numerator. So, ang gabi natin sa sundito is that simplify natin, we can combine this and that is 0. Right? So, you still have 2x squared minus 2 over x times x minus 2. So, isipin natin, meron pa tayong pwedeng simplify. Guys, meron pa ba? So, tinan nyo mabuti ito. Baka magkaroon tayo ng chance na masimplify siya. Since common yung 2, try natin. Try lang naman natin. So, you have 2 times x squared minus 1. Okay? Over x times x minus 2. 
And as you can see, ito ay binomial na, ay difference of two squares. You can have 2 times x plus 1, then x minus 1 over x times x minus 2. At kung mapansin nyo, wala tayong pwede masimplify, right? Wala tayong pwede masimplify. So we can accept this answer. Bilang simplified form ng ating example number 3. So what if uh, I want to simplify the denominator? Pwede naman. Pwede siya maging 2x squared minus 2 over x squared minus 2x. We can also accept this. Pwede naman to. Okay? So again, if natutunan niyo yung ating video, you can comment down below. And by the way, pwede tayong mag-request as long as kaya natin pagbigyan or kaya natin gawa ng video. So kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin ang bell button para updated ka sa atin ng mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!